Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with a highly requested video on part of the market that most investors just never see, the after hours and pre-market trading. And what's surprising here, we've actually got some data that some of the best returns over the past decade have been during those hours before and after the market closes. I'm going to turn it over to our resident stock trading expert, Thomas Carbo, to explain how to invest in this pre-market and after hours market hours and, and how to use this to your advantage. What's going on everyone? Welcome on into today's video. So I'm sure a lot of us are very familiar with the stock market's trading hours. Well, regular hours that is, from 9.30 a.m. Eastern up till 4 p.m. Eastern. That's when most of us are checking our stocks, checking our phones, checking the markets, checking the news, and that's when we see a lot of volume, a lot of activity in the stock market. But not everyone is aware of what goes on after these hours and that trades do take place outside of that 9.30 a.m to 4 p.m. Eastern time window. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering where most of the gains over the past couple of decades have actually occurred in the markets, how you could take advantage of that, and what this means and why it's actually happening. And there's been some pretty crazy data that has come out as of late that we've really been able to look back over the past couple of decades, and where you see the majority of the gains will be very, very surprising. And it's not during regular hours when most of us are watching the markets and think, a lot of the movements are all happening. So we're gonna cover when these moves are happening, why this might be the case, and even some potential ways to take advantage of these gains. Now, real quick, I do wanna mention that Joseph and I did put together a webinar covering three trading signals that you can use and add to your arsenal, your investing, your trading strategies. That'll be linked down below in the video description box. Check that out, we'll talk more about that at the end. So first off, what is pre-market and what is after hours? Because that's actually a really important piece to this puzzle because there's more than just the 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. trading session. So if you have a brokerage platform that gives you full access to pre-market and after hours, you could potentially trade from 4 a.m. Eastern time all the way to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Pre-market is from 4 a.m. Eastern all the way until 9.30 a.m., the traditional market open. That's your pre-market. And then your after hours is from 4 p.m. Eastern all the way to 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, you can trade futures, which essentially, depending upon what futures you're trading, you can trade them almost 24 seven. However, for most people, if you wanna trade individual stocks, those pre-market and after hours will allow you to do that. You can go buy Apple, you can go buy Amazon, go buy whatever stock you want to. You just can't trade options. You can't trade options in pre-market, you can't trade options in the after hours, except for a few select ETFs or ETNs that you can trade for 15 minutes after the 4 p.m. close. But for the most part, you can't trade options in the after hours. Now, what if I told you that all the time that you spend either at your screen watching the markets, watching this, watching that, was actually a waste of time? You would have done much better buying at the end of the day, sleeping, and then selling in the morning? Well, that's what this research has actually shown over the past couple of decades. Now, I don't mean it in a harsh way in terms of it's a waste of your time to watch the markets, watch the news, get a good feel for what's going on macroeconomically, get a good feel for how stocks are moving, why they're moving off of this news, how they're reacting to this news. That's all great. And there's tons of opportunities intraday that traders take advantage of all the time. But this chart right here is absolutely wild. So going back over the past decade, we are taking a look at the S&P 500 returns overnight versus market hours. And that market hours is that 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time window, okay? And in the red, you're gonna see what happens if you were to buy at the open and sell at the close. Those would be your returns going back to 2010. Now, if you were to simply buy at the close and then sell at the open, the first five years of this window, you would have actually been pretty, pretty close and pretty much the same as if you were to buy at the open and sell at the close. But once we got into 2018 and beyond, we saw a drastic difference and the overnight returns absolutely blow away what you would see intraday. Now, going back even further, going back a couple more decades, you're gonna see that from 1993 all the way till essentially present day, what you're looking at is how the outside of regular hours returns blew away the regular hours returns. I mean, this is absolutely astonishing in terms of these percentage returns that you would have seen from 1993, upwards of 600%, whereas you'd actually be negative if you were to play this strategy where you'd buy at the open and sell at the close every single day. 
dating back to 1993. Now, if you were to go back to around 2010, yes, we've seen that that trend has been to the upside for the regular hours returns. But again, nothing like what we saw outside of those regular hours with the overnight strategy. So you ask, why could this happen? Why is this the case? Well, one answer is that there's low liquidity overnight and that a lot of orders tend to stack up. And so in an uptrending market over the past couple of decades, what you're essentially seeing is that a lot of the buying pressure ends up pushed out towards the open as these orders stack up overnight. And so that could be one of those reasons why. Another reason is because of the timing of market opens in China and in Europe. And when the markets close here, we tend to line up with the opens and different times the markets are open across the world. And so there's a four hour span of time from 11.30 p.m. to 3.30 a.m. that they've actually seen historically the most gains. And that's because 11.30 p.m. time lines up with 4.30 a.m. German time when the markets open there and investors in Europe start to wake up and check the markets. Then when the Europe markets open at 8 a.m., roughly around that 3, 3.30, 4 a.m. time here for the U.S., our markets, our pre-markets are beginning to open. Investors, traders are starting to wake up and assess the markets and start to take over. Now, it's mapped out that essentially Europe is driving us overnight and that when they have European holidays, the market returns from that window from 11.30 p.m. here in the U.S. to 3.30 a.m., the market returns are close to zero when historically they're actually substantially higher when the European markets are open and there are no holidays. Okay, awesome, cool, but how do you take advantage and is there even a way to take advantage? Well, now there is Night Shares, which is a new ETF that will take advantage of the after hours trading. And here's exactly what Night Shares would do with your money. Overnight markets generally outperform daytime trading sessions on a risk adjusted basis. That's an important yeah. word, risk yeah, adjusted yeah. basis. Um, so explain how this works. Yeah. Tell us what, what are you owning here yeah, and yeah. what's the rationale for this? I mean, the research that launched us was just incredible when I first saw it, you know, just how persistent and powerful this effect was that most of the return you were getting over time was coming in the night session. So the night session is I buy at the close and I sell the next morning at the open. And the, it's that simple, though. That's, you're not trading in between. And then I'm sitting out the day. You're exactly. buying at the open and selling yeah. at the every day on a daily basis. And what, what the research showed that was phenomenal was how poorly rewarded and volatile and noisy the day session is. That was the thing that really struck us. So, for example, in the case of small caps, over many, many years, the daytime return is negative on the Russell 2000. So, so we have two funds, uh, large cap and small cap, that are trying to, uh, you know, capture this effect for investors. Now, of course, this is not necessarily a recommendation to go out and buy these ETFs, but it's quite interesting that now you could take advantage of this with some of the research and the data that we are seeing as we speak right now. Obviously, what you could do yourself is you could go and buy SPY, go buy IWM, the Russell, at the close, and then sell at the open. And you could do it yourself every single day, but if you want the hands-off approach, you could, of course, go with the ETF. It's not gonna be the exact same returns here because of the 0.55% expense ratio, but if you want the hands-off approach and not have to worry, it could be worth a piece of your portfolio. Now, for the times that we are awake and that we are paying attention to the markets, that webinar covering those three trading signals to add to your arsenal, link down below, would be also a great supplement and a great resource to add to your own trading and investing. We covered all those signals in depth, why they're gonna help you, and then how you can go out and practically use that when you're up, when you're watching the markets yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed here to the community. Leave a like on the video and share it with a friend if you got something out of it. I think the data is quite fascinating and it could be really, really fun to see how this plays out over the next couple of decades. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.